Hello there, Pierre Rupay here. People mainly let their engine warm up in the winter because they want to get inside a warm cabin before they drive off. Really, it's a creature comfort initiative. If you're one of these people, let's talk about it. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. What I'm showing you right now are coolant lines. Then these coolant lines, they go inside the HVAC unit. They go to the heater core. And when the engine reaches operating temperature, the hot coolant goes through the heater core and this is how you get warm air inside the cabin. But the engine has to reach its operating temperature. That's around 200 degrees, you know, 200 to 215 degrees Fahrenheit. That's operating temperature for an engine. This is actually that temperature that engine needs to reach you know, a little bit before that. But it gotta, it's got to reach that temperature for you to get um, hot coolant circulating and get warm air inside but if your vehicle is equipped with what we call an auxiliary heater you don't need to have the engine reaching operating temperature for you to get warm air so by the time i start this truck you know ac is off and when i need warm air i don't need i don't put it on recirculate i need fresh air i get fresh air I get inside the cabin gets heated into the HVAC unit and then you know put it into your desired temperature so by the time I start this engine auxiliary heater gets heated electrically then I get warm air automatically inside the cabin I don't have to wait for the engine to warm up so a lot of vehicles out there they have this auxiliary heater it's it's electric by the time you pass current through it it gets hot and then that hot air you know get your get it gets your cabin toasty so you don't need to warm up your engine a lot of cars out there a lot of people may not know that their cars are equipped with an auxiliary heater if you want to know if your car is equipped with an auxiliary heater when it's cool outside just start your engine while the while the engine is cold just you know crank up the temperature turn your AC off and see if you're gonna get warm air coming out of your vent All right now the temperatures in the 80s I already know that I have an auxiliary heater um, I don't have to check it. So my 2014 BMW had an auxiliary heater, 2020 BMW had one, and then of course my Tesla Model 3 2021 had a heat pump. That's a different story, but a lot of modern cars out there, they have an auxiliary heater. Therefore, you don't have to let your engine warm up in the winter, cold temperatures, which can damage your engine. You don't need to do that. I hope this video helped you out. I'll see you in the next one.